Good afternoon, everyone. Arctic currents are going to cool the climate, and they're also in a damage control article trying to explain expelling ice being pushed into the North Atlantic through the gyre. They're trying to explain why all these giant icebergs that are going to occur again this year. And they keep talking about steadily disappearing sea ice. That orange line, that's the 30-year baseline average. I don't see that much below average. And what about the U.S. Navy ships trapped in ice? Houseboats stuck in ice. Snows that haven't been seen in 50 to 70 years blanketing Morocco and parts of North Africa. Record snows in Spain. And another five feet on tap for Italy and parts of Europe. 100 plus year floods across France, parts of Germany. And in Mayon, images appearing out of the ash. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. And we could just turn 2018 the year of damage control from the climate alarmists because there's so much snow and ice happening with anomalous cold temperatures. And here's another one talking about how the Arctic is going to start to cool Europe and then the Northern Hemisphere and have a runaway effect across the planet. Beaufort Gyre is suddenly to blame for expelling ice into the North Atlantic, but we were told all last year that the record iceberg sightings were all due to calving of glaciers off of Greenland. How did they suddenly just switch their stories? They're talking about the Beaufort Gyre. Images here from space for you to take a look at. But you can already see it. We're going to have another record iceberg season, just like we did way back when the Titanic sunk. It's just a cycle. And they're trying to explain why there are going to be so many more icebergs this year as well in advance. So when you start to see these off the coast of New York, they'll already have an explanation ready for you. David Dilley's work specifically targets the warm water pulse that goes into the Arctic. His research says there's no more warm water pulses going up to look for massive increases in sea ice based on cyclic patterns as well. Minimum 72 year repeat of ice growth. And the media is kind of doing this as pre-damage control to try to give you these explanations. But in the same article, steady disappearing sea ice is mentioned again. And I'm going to bring you right over to the NSIDC 30-year baseline average, which is that orange line. Now you use your own eyes and tell me how much far below average are we that's causing these anomalies that they keep pinpointing to for record cold and record snow. It doesn't add up. What about this U.S. Navy ship trapped in Montreal in spring due to ice? What about in New Jersey, houseboats stuck in the ice? We saw that massive ice blanket across Massachusetts offshore. And I'm really just waiting for the bevy of articles to come out to try to explain these anomalous snows in the Canary Islands and Morocco. Snows in depths they haven't seen 50, 70, 100 years. And when you look at that teal color, you're looking at 100 centimeters of snow, and it's too 0.5 centimeters to an inch. So you look at minimum 50 inches of snow. North African deserts, we saw three feet in the Sahara at the beginning of the year. Crickets, except the explanation is warming seas are now driving more clouds. These are just the totals from February 1st forecast out to February 12th. And again, we're pushing up into 100 centimeters. And this model run here, just through February 4th and 5th, looking at another six feet of snow, same areas that had record snow across Italy and different parts of Europe, close in for you here. And since the colors are bunched together with that orange, I found another graphic that kind of widens it out. And this chart here gives you the total accumulated precipitation in millimeters. So remember, approximately one inch of water equals a foot of snow. So I know you're going back between metrics and English system. And if you don't know if that's a lot of water or not, we just need to look a couple countries over in France and see these borderline 150 year floods that are coming through, making the news media globally about the floods. It's even up in Germany the flooding is occurring now. 
They finally opened the rail lines to Zermatt after all-time record snows. Those guys in the Davos World Economic Forum couldn't even get to the meetings on time from so much snow. And we're all supposed to believe it's CO2. Cosmic rays are increasing volcanism and seismic activity on this planet. And I found this screen grab off one of the videos I linked below in the comment box on Mayan Volcano. The two lovers holding hands in the ash. This comes back from a Filipino legend reoccurring right now. It's spooking everybody in the Philippines. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. These changes are coming fast and ferociously. And I hope we can start some real dialogue on what these changes mean for our societies and how to get ready for them.